Okay. Awesome. So tonight we're going to be talking about, like I said, a few basic things that you need to be reminded of to do in this business and a, a little bit of like hopefully motivation and inspiration for you guys that are struggling. So the things that you guys need to be doing the most of is building new relationships in this business. So talking to new people, you know, interacting on Facebook and Instagram, but with that also you need to be doing hold on just a second. You need to be posting consistently. If you have a day that maybe you don't post quite as much as the day before that, that's okay as long as you're using that time to be productive by talking to more people than the day before. And maybe that's why you haven't posted as much because you have more conversations going on that day. So these are things that you need to be doing every single day. Um, the more you build relationships, the more people are going to get in your algorithm, which means they're going to see your posts. You're going to be seeing their posts. So they're going to be presented with the opportunity and the products many, many more times than they would be if you, if you didn't comment, if you didn't interact with them. So, and I don't just mean liking pictures, like truly leave a genuine comment. If you can, I spend a good 30 minutes at least every single day commenting on Facebook and then another 30 minutes commenting on Instagram. And usually I do them in like bursts. Sometimes I'll do like 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night for each one but I do that every single day, almost more than I post, simply because you're not going to get any sales if the same people are seeing your posts every single day. Like it's important for those people to see your posts every single day, but over a period of time, those people are either probably, you know, A, still watching you, B, have already bought, or C, not going to, but they, they follow you because they're your friend and they like the rest of the stuff that you post. Those are the three types of people that you're going to have. So if you're not increasing your audience and really working the algorithm and system to make your audience that you already have see your posts, that's going to help your business a whole, whole lot. So building relationships is super important uh, in this business. That's one of the most important things. Thank you. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is posting in general. So, there's a few rules that I like to follow personally that I see the best results out of, and that's the rules that I'm going to share with you guys right now. If you've found success in a different way, that's perfectly fine. Keep doing what works for you, but this is just what works for me, and this is what I recommend to everybody. So you need to be posting at least twice about the products and twice about the company and the business opportunity of it a day. And then all of your other posts should be like filler posts. Maybe you post an interactive post like Jordan does because at night so that it has all night in the morning to be interacted with. And you can post, you know, some, something that doesn't relate to it works like your kids, or maybe you went out to dinner and had a good time with your family, post that kind of stuff, post personal stuff in between, but you need to be touching on two products and two business posts a day. That is my rule that I try to follow stuff has been a little crazy in my house and I have been slacking a little bit and I'll be the first to tell you that, but I'm getting back on track. So it's really important to not sit down for too long. And so sometimes I take myself out of it. If you guys get burned out on it, which you will at some point in the business, if you haven't already, and that's okay. Take a minute, step back and drop back to posting two or three times a day for like a week, get yourself back together and then get back in it but don't ever sit down for too long. So be consistent with your posting and let's not post salesy stuff because that also triggers the algorithm because that picture that you guys are finding on Google that you're posting, and I'm not talking about a particular one, I'm just saying in general, some of you guys use those really salesy posts and that's good at first, but once the algorithm starts picking that up, they're gonna start hiding those posts because what has happened in the past was that particular picture was reported as spam. And so when Facebook or Instagram for that matter sees that picture, it automatically like shows it, it less. Like it goes from being shown to, you know, 40% of your friends to going to be shown to 10% of your friends, maybe friends that have liked that kind of stuff before. So the algorithm isn't just generally speaking, 
it looks at your posts. It looks at the words that you guys use. It looks at the pictures that you guys use, which is kind of crazy and scary that it can do all of that, but it does. So what you post really, really matters. And that's why I always preach to post genuinely, include your life in It Works. People don't want an It Works robot. You know, we, I always say like, you're not selling these products, you're selling yourself. You're just sharing about the products and the company. And I think that's really important to remember because when you see yourself as a salesperson, you're going to be salesy, but that's not what we're here for. You're here to sell yourself, your genuine self. So be genuine. And that's where building relationships comes into play along with that is that you need to be sincere with all of these people that you're building relationships with. You need to be real while you're posting as well. So get away from the spammy salesy posts, the ones that are you just finding on Google because they've been used so many times before and Facebook and Instagram recognizes that and shows your posts less. And if, like I said, if you've just started and you've been doing that, you're probably seeing interaction off of it because it hasn't caught on yet. So that's perfectly fine to get you started. But as you start using the products, try and get a little bit more and more personal with your posts. Like I said, people want to they're, they're buying you. They're not buying the product or the business. Like they're coming to you. They probably have other it works distributors on their timelines and you want to make yourself stand out. I can't tell you how many messages that I have gotten from people saying that they have either joined me or bought products for me because I am so genuine because I'm not a walking, talking, it works robot. Like I'm just me and they see my life on Facebook, but I am real and they know I'm a real person because I'm not a robot. So that's really, really important. And the next thing that I want to talk about is your mindset. So you guys, this is the most important thing in this business, which is funny because it's not really an income producing activity. You don't actually make money by doing personal development, but it is the thing that's going to give you the passion and the drive to make money with this business. So you have to be um, having some personal development in your life. I try and do at least something, whether it's read something or watch a video once every day in the morning when I get up as my twins are eating, like I watch a motivational video on YouTube where I'll just listen to it with my phone put down somewhere. But that kind of gets me pumped for the rest of the day. It gets me feeling like I can do this, even though I wake up in a tizzy and I'm like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. Once I watch a motivational video, I'm like, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I feel like I can kick down a door. So that's the mindset that you guys need to be in all the time. And a lot of people have been getting frustrated lately, and I've been seeing it on the team page, talking about how they can't get people. We can't do this. And I'm not getting through to people. You will get people. It will happen. It, it's impossible for somebody to join and not get a customer or a distributor unless they literally just do not work. Like it's impossible. There are so many people out there on social media and in person that have not heard of this company. It is insane for people to not get people. But let's talk about that phrase. So you don't need to be saying things that are bringing negativity into your life. If you haven't watched the movie, it's on Netflix. And I don't know if it's on YouTube or not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I think I had to get it on Netflix, but it's called The Secret. If you haven't watched it yet, please go watch this movie. It is really corny and ridiculous. But the more you watch it, the more you understand that what you give out to the universe, the universe gives back. So if you're constantly giving out negativity, if you're constantly giving out criticism, that's what you're going to get back in life. But... And in everything in life, like not just business related, but it's just the way of the universe. Like positivity breeds positivity and negativity is poison to yourself, to your relationships, to your business, everything. So get those words like can't, struggling, you know, everything like that out of your mind and start thinking about being the rock star that you thought you would be in the first place. Stop like dumbing yourself down and stop cutting yourself short and not giving yourself enough credit. You guys deserve credit because you've already taken, you've already taken the step to join. You've done the hardest part. You spent $99 on your kit. You got the same kit as everybody else. You have a Facebook. Maybe you just made a Facebook, but you have connections to so many people across the world. And we are in so many different countries that there is no reason why you cannot be successful in this business. 
Is it hard? Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's frustrating. Yes, you're going to be on a roller coaster for the rest of the time you're with it works because you're going to have your days where you feel like things just aren't going your way. But once you start cycling into that negativity snowball effect, that's all you're going to get out of this business. You may have your one customer that you get one day and it pumps you back up for a little bit, but you're, you're the one who controls your cycle. So if you put yourself back into that negative place, it's just going to keep going. It's just like a constant cycle. You cannot, once you, it's like once you dig a hole, you're digging it even deeper by producing that negativity every single day into your life, into your business. So be positive. Think positively. I don't care whether you haven't signed anybody the whole entire time you've been in, you better be telling yourself that you're a rock star because once you start believing that you're a rock star, you will be a rock star. And a tip that I can give you on, like, it's crazy how it works, but it, it truly does. And the, and the movie is The Secret. You have to watch it. It's amazing, but it is super corny. But that is something that is so important in this business and in our lives. And it's true. People love drama and negativity because they're miserable, but you have to be the person that stands out. So, and a tip on that, I was going to tell you guys, if you are struggling with signing distributors and you feel like you're just not getting anywhere with your posts, start writing down the characteristics of the distributor that you want to sign. Who do you want your distributor to be? Do you want them to be a mom? Do you want them to be in college? Do you want them to be, you know, in their twenties? Do you want them to have, Oh, I've already said a mom. I was going to say have kids. Like, what do you want them to be? Do you want them to be compassionate or do you want them to be like a smart ass sarcastic? Maybe like you are like funny, sarcastic, I mean, or do you want them to be like super genuine? Do you want them to be kick-ass? Do you want them to be a quitter? Like, what do you want your distributors to be? You need to write those things down and find a way to reach out to that particular like characteristic person that you're describing in your list. So if you're, t if you want to sign, like if you think that a mom who is super genuine, who loves her kids, and maybe she works really hard at a full-time, maybe two jobs, whatever, start reaching out to her more. Once you start writing down the people that you want in this business and their characteristics, you can filter through the people that you know and the people that are on your friends list, and you can find those people and make sure to be interacting with those people because those are the like description of what you want on your team. And I always do that. And it also makes you a better person because how can you expect your team to do the things that you're not willing to do. So if you want somebody who's going to be a rock star that can post six times a day, that can sign, you know, 10 loyal customers and five distributors a month, you have to be that person first. You have to start it. And then whoever joins your team is going to follow suit. And if they don't, oh, well, they're lost because that does happen too. But you have to lead from the front and lead by example, because if you guys have a team underneath you, and you're getting frustrated because maybe you feel like you're the only one that's working or you're the only one that's signing people, you need to be leading from the front and teaching them exactly what to do. And the way that people learn best is to actually see it be, be done. You, nobody likes that person who's just going to boss somebody around but never take their own advice or who's going to tell you what to do but they would never do that. Nobody likes that person. So be the person that you want to sign and those people will come to you. So posting, what else did we talk about? Motivation, like inspiration, get your personal development, development in. It's so important. You know, how to post and what to post about, how to interact with people and build relationships and just have a great mindset all the time. No matter whether you're struggling or not, think about you being a rock star because you will become a rock star if you keep telling yourself that. I have the um, Ambassador Diamond like everywhere, all over my house. Here's one right here. So I see that every single day and I'm held accountable for that. So write your goals down. Oh my gosh, I can't get it back over there. Okay. Write your goals down and be the person that you want to, to attract. Okay. I think I'm done. Does anybody have any questions? That was a short one. I thought it would be longer. I can talk about something else. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have anything that they're struggling with or just tips? 
I can explain anything. You, if you don't want to say it, you can type it in the chat. If you don't want to hang out and stay on and wait for the questions, you can hop off, you know, whatever you want to do. But I'll just wait for a second to see whether anybody has any questions. No, nobody has any questions. All right, you guys. Well, go watch my video from the other day if you haven't seen it about negativity and all of that. It's, it was like a week ago, I think. But you guys, this is not hard, okay? It's, it takes hard work, but the business is not hard. You can do this. You can do this. And if you missed out on the Go Fast bonus, that's okay because there's still another $5,000 bonus. And let me just tell you, being a diamond rank is more than enough money. You do not need the bonus on top of that. Like $2,000 from your phone, like that's that's big money. Um, and if you guys would like me to actually, because I have time, if you want me to explain like how the pay works for a diamond and why everybody says diamond is the license to print money, I can kind of explain to you the different types of pay that a diamond gets versus a lower rank if you guys want to stay on and hear about it. Yes, please. Okay. Well, if you guys want to hop off, you can. Thank you for hopping on. And I'm just going to explain this really quick and then we'll be done unless anybody has any questions. So when you go diamond, you start getting things called uh, cab bonuses. They're CAB cab bonuses. It's in the compensation plan. I'm actually going to see if I can pull it up so that I can tell you exactly what it says. But basically cab bonuses are in addition to any fast start bonus that you or your team receives. So once you go diamond, you are coded, you are cabbed for everyone who is personally enrolled. Hey, Antoine, <laughs> everyone who is personally enrolled under you that you have enrolled distributor wise and anybody that you're personally enrolled has enrolled since you went diamond. So does that make sense? So like if I, um, I was diamond before I sent page. So when I signed page, I was cabbed for diamond for and double diamond but yeah, I'll explain that um, for Paige because I was already double diamond before she signed. So anybody that she signs also, because she is my personally enrolled, any of her personally enrolled, I am also capped for that person, which means that every time one of those people gets fast start qualified, that distributor that enrolled them, you know, gets the $99 fast start bonus. But in addition to that, the person who is capped for them, gets an additional $80 and that goes on to their paycheck. Not like, like it's not paid out in a Friday bonus like it would be for a fast start bonus, but it's added into your commissions. So if I enrolled somebody after I went diamond and they got their first two loyal customers in their 30 days and they had over 150 in volume or ran an auto shipment, so they were commission qualified. Um, if they did that, then they would be fast start qualified. So I would get a $99 bonus because I'm the one who enrolled them and I would get that paid out on a Friday, but I would also get an $80 from that person. Like, I mean, from the company, but for that person on my paycheck for that next month, does that make sense? So, and then anybody, so let's go back to like the page and I situation. So if Paige signs a distributor, like says she signed Jenna and Jenna goes diamond, or um, Jenna gets fast start qualified, then Paige gets the $99 bonus, but I get the $80 on top of that. Does that make sense? So there's way more money in cab bonuses, and they just go up after that. So once you're coded double diamond for somebody, you get the $80 plus $40. And then when you're coded, or maybe it's 60. Hold on, let me pull it up. But then when you're coded triple, you get the 80 plus the 40 plus the 20. And then when you're presidential, you get the 80 plus the 40 plus the 20 plus the 15, like for every single. So that's like a ridiculous amount of money just in cabs. Like it's crazy. So that's the first type of awesome, awesome bonus. Oh, babe, I don't know. Hold on. He's asking me where the pizza is. Pause. He left the store at 919, six minutes ago. He left the store at 9.19, six minutes ago. So he should be here soon. All right, sorry. 
<laughs> um, okay, so let me read exactly what it says. Okay, yes, so you also get something called generation bonus, and I didn't want to give you the percentage wrong, but every, yeah, it is nuts, right? It's so much money. I, I will tell you guys that there have been some months where my cabs are actually bigger than the rest of my paycheck because it breaks it down in eSuite so you can see like your, when you click on commissions, like it'll show you your broken down paycheck. The cabs have been ridiculously more than my commissions some months, like if that was a high enrolling month, which is crazy, crazy, just in bonuses for people getting fast start qualified. So, and you get that on everybody, like I said, that is under you um, after you go diamond. So like, for instance, the girl that quit that was my diamond, her name was Hannah. If she, like if I would have been diamond, I would have been coded for her, but I wasn't because I wasn't diamond before she joined me. So I would never have been coded for her, but to, you get the idea. Okay, so you also get generation bonuses and every new diamond is a generation. So think of your leg and you go like, you know, distributor, executive, ruby, emerald, and when you hit diamond, you've officially completed a generation. So every diamond leg you have is a different generation. And each new diamond leg that promotes in your downline starts a new generation made up of the diamonds PGV personal volume. So as a diamond, you'll get paid 2% more commissions on your first generation. And if you reach double diamond, you are paid on a 4% commission on your second generation and I'll explain all of this in a second and the bonuses just keep going up so if let's say when I went diamond all right I get an additional two percent commissions on my entire downline my personal like group volume on my entire downline I get an additional two percent added on to everything then when I went double diamond now I get an additional four percent so you guys know when you look at the pay chart like you get I don't know who that was um, when you look at the pay chart, you look at and you see like 15% for your personally enrolled top line, and then you get 10% for your second line, 10% for your third line. You know what I mean? And if you don't know what I mean, feel free to message me. But those are the like levels that we're paid on. You're getting an additional two or four percent on all of that volume. So you're getting 17% or 12%. You know what I mean? So Diamond is amazing. And all of these charts and explanations and everything that I just said is in the compensation plan. It's a little confusing. So, but that is why people say that Diamond is the license to print money, just because there is so much more money being offered. You guys are just getting commissions and fast start bonuses, but those are not the only ways to make money in this company. We also have something called a car bonus, which is completely different from any cab bonus. It's not generation wise like diamond or anything promoting wise, but it just means that if you have over 60 active loyal customers, so people that have either, you know, just joined, completed the three months, like whatever the case may be, they just haven't canceled their account. So they're active loyal customers, even if they're not still ordering, they're still considered active. If you have 60 of those and your PBV, which is your personal volume, not anybody underneath you, just your volume is over 2000 for that month. Like say you hit that in April and you get 60 loyal customers. You don't have to get them. You just have to have them. So they can be from months ago. So just 60 loyal customers and over 2000 in personal bonus volume, you get a $600 bonus on that next paycheck. So if you ever like, like at the beginning when maybe you don't have any distributors yet and you keep keeping your customers, if you get 60 and 2000 volume in one month, that's a $600 bonus. And you can literally get those every single month. So if you keep those 60 customers and nobody cancels the next month and you've still got over 2000 volume, you get another $600. Crazy, right? So there are so many other opportunities to make money in this company, but the biggest one is to be a diamond or above. Okay. I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions about that? It's a little confusing. So if I sign someone and they get fast start qualified, I would get a bonus. Yes, even if you're not diamond, you can get fast start qualified or fast start bonuses. And the fast start just means that like, say you sign a distributor, that distributor has to get two loyal customers and has to be like commission qualified with either 150 volume in sales or 80 volume in an auto shipment that they personally ran in their first 30 days. And if they do all of that, then you get a $99 bonus that's paid out to you on a random Friday. 
usually it's like two weeks after that person gets their last like qualification that and then once you become dime, diamond, you get you get that ninety nine dollars plus the additional eighty dollars. Does anybody else have any questions about that? <sighs> okay. Yes, it's 80, 40, 15, 10, and 5. So diamond is 80, double is 40, triple is 15, presidential is 10, and ambassador is 5. And that's in addition to each one. So if you're ambassador diamond, you literally get $80 for every person that signs, $40, $15, $10, and $5 for every single person that signs and gets best start qualified. Crazy money. Woo -woo. Okay. <clears throat> what if you have 60 LCs, but they are spread out to your other DTs? Um, they go away from being yours once you transfer them. So if you have distributors underneath you and you've given a, a loyal customer to that person, like underneath you, that doesn't count as your loyal customer anymore. It counts as theirs. So they wouldn't go into your 60. It, you, it just has to be you. So like once you get a solid team and see, I've never done that. I've never gotten that bonus just because, like I have a team under me, so I'd rather rank up and get that pay because it's a whole lot more than $600. So I've never done that bonus, but if you struggle with distributors and you don't have any yet, that's a good time to, to try and get the 60 customers and the 2000 volume. Or if you have a really solid team and everybody's working really hard and you're at the rank you wanna be, then maybe you can start increasing your customer base too. But yeah. Any other questions? Nope. All righty. So I'm someone last month and she got that sort of qualified today. As long as she signed um, after the, what's today, the 4th. So at, as long as she signed after March 4th, you should be getting a $99 bonus in a week or two. So congratulations. That's exciting. She signed the 11th. Perfect. You'll get a $99 bonus. That's awesome, girl. Good job. Okay. Well, if nobody else has any questions, I'm going to go ahead and hop off and eat the pizza while it's hot. You're welcome. All right, you guys. Well, you have a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a 30-minute half-hour power hour at 10 o'clock. Um, those obviously aren't required. None of these are required, but they definitely help. If you want to hop on, I will be there. So you guys have a good night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.